Hey guys, welcome back to The Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for following along. Today our scriptures are going to come from Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 1 through chapter 2 verse 37, Psalm 119, 12 through 16, Proverbs 24, 23 through 25, and Colossians 1, 1 through 20. Today we're going to be talking about wrong places. And our scripture is going to come from Jeremiah 2.13, which says, My people have committed a double evil. They have abandoned me, the fountain of living water, and dug cracked cisterns that cannot hold water. One of the major problems with which, which we are all confronted is that which is at the core of our being is a deep thirst for God which makes us entirely dependent on Him for satisfaction. Our sinful human nature resists this because it dislikes the feeling of helplessness that such dependence brings. It prefers to have a hand in bringing about our own satisfaction. This terrible tendency of the human heart is to try to satisfy its own thirst independently of God is brought out clearly in the passage before us today. The prophet Jeremiah indica indicates Israel, the people of God, and indicts them for depending on cracked cisterns in their efforts to quench their spiritual thirst, cisterns which they themselves have, have made, but which cannot hold water. Note two observations in our text for today suggests first the people were thirsty and second they moved in the wrong direction to satisfy their thirst God says it was as if they walked right past the clear waters he had provided for them and chose instead to dig their own wells they wanted to run their own lives and refused to come to God allowing him to quench their deep thirst this stubborn commitment to independence is responsible for more than anything else for preventing us from having feet like hind's feet. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our gracious Father, we see that the problem you had with the nation of Israel is also our problem as well. Far too often we try to dig our own wells. You are searching deeply into our lives. Help us to not evade or avoid any issue. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study we're going to be looking at Judges 17, 1 through 6, Judges 21, verse 25, Proverbs 28, 26, and 1 Corinthians 10, 12 with these questions in mind. How does the book of Judges sum up the human heart? Well, what was Paul's admonition to the Corinthians? Something to really think about, something to ponder. Hope you guys will continually follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.